Hello guys, actually uh, I hope you are doing well and today I wanted to talk about the what are blockchain protocols because a lot of you, uh, you know, been asking me that why, why do we need blockchain protocol and what exactly is a blockchain protocol and why do we need it? So guys, like blockchain, think of blockchain protocol as like the rules uh, and the governance structure which is actually required to manage a network without any like manual intervention. So these are like the predefined set of laws and the regulations and the rules on which this entire network should operate, right? For example, uh, you know, let's take an example of a Bitcoin blockchain. Its protocol uh, is typically proof of work. So how it's gonna work is that whenever I send Bitcoins from my account to your account, it has to be actually verified or, or the transaction has to be verified cryptographically because as computer understands zeros and ones. So to do that, they, they have a set of predefined, uh, uh, you know, uh, a structure which we call it as a protocol. So protocol is typically the rules, the structure and the mechanism on how this transaction is going to get verified. So initial layers of blockchain proof of work was to be considered the best possible way because because you actually get uh, encourage miners to actually mine and also there's an incentive mechanism for every miner to get rewards in terms of Bitcoin blockchain plus there is something called network difficulty which also prevents kind of a brute force attacking so not not you know every hacker or not not i'm, I'm sorry not hacker but not every uh, uh you know like the miner could just possibly put most of his or, or you know like just put all the computational power and just take all the cryptos out at once right the network adopt adopts themselves uh, adopts itself like automatically and distributes the reward and proportionate to them so this is this is one of these protocols so the protocols are the rules and the regulations is required to run a, a blockchain network and it is important because it lays the foundation on how this network should you know operate and should govern and stay decentralized so as a blockchain protocols like there are several of them so you have proof of stake you have delegated proof of stake and and then there are a lot more uh you know ex exciting coming on such as proof of elapsed time and you know so on and so forth so there's been a lot of innovations uh, on the on the on the mechanisms but typically now the industry is like moving from proof of work to proof of stake because they feel that that is much safer and safer because it's not prone to 51 percent back whereas proof of work is prone to 51 percent back meaning let's say there are 100 miners and if i control 51 you know mining rigs or 51 percent of the power i could just manipulate the network and decide how this entire you know blocks and blockchain should operate whereas in proof of stake uh, uh you know like i have to actually invest before I take or I decide on how or how this transactions has to be you know verified and authenticated right so meaning if, if I try to do any fraud with the network all of my funds is basically kept in an escrow and there is a bidding mechanism where every person would bid so the highest bidder would get would get to mine that block and the highest staker would possibly get to mine that block and and this is more of something which is going to uh, uh you know uh encourage competitiveness in the industry because the people would just like to get onto their cryptocurrencies and just stake more frequently and the most amazing part about this is that if you try to do any fraud or something since this is not governed uh, uh you know like kind of 51 percent consensus where where you have to have uh, a majority uh, you know kind of a control but but it is more like you know a one person one vote irrespective of number of coins or the number of uh, 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 you know like mining rigs or etc person is holding so meaning is that you just got to stake so the more you stake you get the chance to just mine the block but the transaction verification and the consensus is equally distributed uh, among the community so so that is something which encourages uh, equal participation and, and also you also get rewards so what you're gonna do is you can just probably work with some kind of a, uh, staking pools uh, you know come together collaborate and just put your funds with them and just make and also just you know kind of uh, make more cryptos on or on your existing crypto so this is going to actually encourage the culture of uh, hodling and and most importantly like the more returns and going to make blockchains much faster because you don't have to mine every single transaction you could just keep on adding the transactions uh, uh, to the block and it would also provide for the scalability as you could go to or else you could actually go or look at uh, towards like other scalable models like you know sharding and things like that 
so guys that's like blockchain protocols for you in nutshell but if you're really interested to learn more about it uh, or if you're interested to build your career in the blockchain space please visit it in blockchainacity.com or, or if you're looking forward for some cool enterprise blockchain solutions you can reach out to us on snapofuturetech.com and, and just let us know uh, if you have any doubts or any queries and we'd be glad and happy to answer guys so thank you so much guys cheers and take care bye bye